Hey y'all, my name is Vito Bell, <clears throat> and today I will be recording a series of videos talking about the pentatonic modes. And um, <clears throat> so this is the first video in a series of five videos. I guess this is the first, uh, this is the intro video to five videos. So this, I guess, would be the first of six. <clears throat> but uh, this video goes over all of the pentatonic modes and the way they relate to each other. Each of the following five videos will go over each scale individually and will go over ways to understand and learn the scale, ways to practice the scale, and then they will also include an optional short guided practice session at the end of each video uh, that kind of run you through what I do to practice these modes and what helps me and what hopefully, hopefully helps you as well. <laughs> so um, getting right into the first video. Um, one great way to think about uh, these modes is in relation to diatonic scales. So there are five pentatonic modes that we will be covering in these videos. Gong, Sheng, Zhao, Zi, and Yu. Hopefully I pronounced those correctly. And um, if you think about these as being diatonic scales with missing pitches or missing scale degrees, that really will help expedite your learning. Um, so if you look here, um, I have the major diatonic scale and the minor diatonic scale. And then below, I have each of the modes. And, um, uh, and, and they are illustrated as being diatonic scales with missing scale degrees. So really quick, before I start explaining this, uh, let me get rid of this little piano. And um, you guys are more than welcome to screenshot these pages if you think it would help your learning or um, if you would like to use them as a study tool feel free to screenshot this frame and use them for further reference so getting right into it let's take a listen to the major diatonic scale starting on C so this diatonic scale will be used in the examples of gong and G or Z. Let's take a listen to the minor diatonic scale. And this will be used in the examples for any of the, uh, the modes that have minor um, tonal qualities, such as Sheng having uh, Tay, Zhao having Mei, Lei, and Tay, <laughs> um, and Yu having Mei and Tay. I don't, I don't know why these are, these are sharp. They should not be sharp in this example. Alrighty, moving on. Let's take a listen to gong mode and how it is similar to the major diatonic scale. There's a leap here on Fa, on T, and Do. Let's take a listen to Shang mode and how it relates to the minor diatonic scale. And Zhao. And Z. And U. I guess those were supposed to be sharped. Pardon me um, for unsharping them earlier. Here we are. Okay, so going back to talking about how they work together. So great ways to memorize these or think about them is you can either think of them as being scales that have leaps on these scale degrees like fa and ti, me, le, re, so. Mi, T, and Re, and Le. Or you could think of them as having um, groups. So Gong, for example, would have a group of three, then a leap, then a group of two, and then a leap, and then a group of one or two if you're singing it down. Uh, never mind, I guess just one. And um, so I would say that this is a really, really great way to visualize um, and understand the modes. One additional way really really amazing tool that we have are the black keys of the piano so for this i will have this little piano example down here at the bottom 
Now, each of these modes can be played only using black keys on the piano. So if you look at each example here, they have a note next to them, and this is the black key that they start out with if you would like to take this approach to learning the scales. So, for example, we'll start with gong mode. Gong mode can be played only using black keys if you start on F sharp. So if you look down here at the piano, if you play a full octave of only black keys starting on F sharp, you will have played gong mode. Um, if, uh, if you look down here at the piano keyboard while I play the example up here, you will understand what I'm talking about. It really, really is an amazing learning tool. Let's take a look at Shang mode. Let's up a step. Keep that in mind. Such an awesome way to learn and understand these. Let's take a look at Zhao. Up another step. What do you know? I like the sound of Zhao a lot. All right, moving on to Z. It's up another step again, but I'm just down an octave for the sake of notating, notating it within the staff. All right, and feel free to pause the video at any point in time you'd like to and do this yourself. Going on to you. So, which, and, and U is also another step up. All right, so that is a really, really great way of thinking about these modes, getting to understand them and learn them quicker. All right, so um, like I mentioned earlier, feel free to take a picture of this if you'd like to. In the, all of the following videos, we will be going over each mode individually, and uh, each video will have a section talking about the mode, I'm going into deeper detail about its relation to the diatonic scale that um, is in the example. And it will also, uh, each video will also contain a section um, talking about practice techniques that you can use for that scale and that mode and ways that you can practice them, ways that work for me and hopefully work for you. And then finally, each, um, each video will contain a section at the end uh, that will be a, uh, an optional short guided practice session where I kind of guide you guys through um, what my practice session looks like um, when I'm practicing these modes. <clears throat> um, well, I believe that this is the, uh, the end of this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to, uh, to let me know in the comment section below. Um, thanks so much for your time, and I hope you have an awesome day and stay safe. Thanks so much.